back in 2017, July 27th was the exact day. I'm sitting in my house in St. George, Utah. I literally remember I was sitting on the couch facing the TV and my wife was sitting on the other couch that was facing the window. And she literally said to me, as I told her again, hey, we're getting close. We're getting close on the software. We're getting close. He says we're getting close. This is the guy that was stringing me along. And she finally had enough and said, Nick, you're getting scammed. There is no software. There is no code. Pull your head out of your ass and start taking care of the family. This pipe dream, it needs to end, okay? It needs to end. You need to get a job. This is the conversation we had on July 27th, 2017. She was sick and tired of it. You guys remember, I started digital real estate. I got sidetracked. I'm going to start a software company, blah, blah, blah. Never got a line of code. My partner actually ended up being addicted to drugs. That's not why we didn't make it, but that was definitely an interesting uh, aspect. Um, ended up going into rehab, but I had $3,000 in the bank. Now, some of you guys that are young are like, that's a lot of money. Dude, I had three kids. I had a couple cars. I had a house payment. We had a lifestyle, right? We, we, like we have things, right? We still need to eat. Uh, we had things and I had $3,000 left, okay? And in fact, I, I had that $3,000 cash, but I was actually sitting on negative $60,000 in credit card debt, but I didn't know it. Because I would eventually, in the next month or two, end up realizing that, Nick, you got to pay all these people back. These people that paid you, that, that were going to buy your product, that pre, you know, pre-sold, that you're not giving them a product, and this guy stole your code, that sucks ass, but you got to give them their money. And that would land me fifty or sorry, $60,000 in the hole, okay? But guys, I knew myself well enough, I wasn't about to get a job. Okay. I said to my wife, I said, look, babe, give me three days. Give me, well, four days. This was the 27th. So that was the night. So I had 28th, 29th, 30th. So I had four days. I, I, I lied. I had, I had four days. Give me till the first of the month. Give me the rest of this month to come up. And we needed, right? About that time, we were living on about um, $6,000 per month, which seems to me seems crazy because of how much money we spend, if you feel like nowadays. But I needed three grand to pay the bills. <clears throat> she said, after some, some convincing her, she said, okay, three days. And if you do not have $3,000, like you have to take care of us. And if it's not a, 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 that job or, or a job, you got to go back and start selling that the first day. And I was like, done, done. And guess what I did? I went out in the next four days. I sold three websites. Okay. These weren't good deals by any means. These were, these were a kind of a hybrid between SEO and leads and they were in the wrong niche and all this stuff. But I sold three deals for a thousand bucks each in a bad niche, but nonetheless, I did got the money up front and in four days was able to come up with three grand. Keep in mind, I hadn't made money, positive income in over a year because I was chasing this, this dream. And you're sitting there going, man, I should have just been doing this all the time. Anyway, I made the three grand and my wife's like, oh, and I went to her and I said, give me another month, give me another month. And I was excited guys. You know how good it feels when you haven't made money to make that first dollar. I don't care if it's a hundred dollars. I don't care if it's 500, a thousand. You know how good it felt to know that that was my money, my money. And I wasn't just selling and going, man, I sure hope this product you know, comes out. I hope the developer comes through. This was money that I earned. I would have been willing to do anything for that money. It felt so freaking good. So after those three days, I went to my wife and said, give me another month. Give me another month. Let me see if I can do it. The next month I did 10, I had a goal of $10,000. She's like, ha, okay, good luck. And I set a little goal for myself. I was like, okay, if I, if I hit this goal, I'm going to buy myself a pair of shoes. Guys, this is how, how broke I was. I was going to buy myself a pair of Kobe's. You remember the, the, the low top Kobe's that you can't buy anymore because RIP Kobe's, but those low top Mambas, I was, I needed some new gym shoes and I was like, I'm going to buy myself some Kobe's if I hit my goal. That that's the, like, now it's like, I just go buy shit, but I set a goal. If I hit $10,000, I'm going to buy myself some new Kobe's, right? And the next month I hit $10,000. This is a combination of website build slash SEO. Okay. Next month I set a goal. I'm like, dude, I got this. I'm going to go and I'm going to make 25. I'm going to get $25,000 cash collected. Now this wasn't not contracts. This was cash collected. And I was, I had my deals kind of structured weird where I was getting paid a chunk up front and then I would deliver the leads. It wasn't a good structure. Trust me. I'm just, I'm telling you guys the point here. I made, I hit the goal. I hit the goal by October 20th. In 20 days, I did it. I went from making $0 in the course of a year 
to bringing in $20,000 cash, okay, in one single month, $25,000 cash in 20 days. <laughs>